On Friday, after weeks of consulting with leading scientists and public health experts, we introduced a well thought out, uh, smart, safe, and effective roadmap for the recovery of Maryland. The key numbers which we remain most focused on are, and that we're watching very closely on a day to day basis, are the rate of hospitalizations and the number of patients admitted to the ICU. When we start seeing a plateauing of those metrics, uh, then we, that can put us uh, in a position to begin implementing the reopening and recovery. Yesterday, I convened a meeting of our coronavirus recovery team, which includes some of the most respected business, uh, labor, and economic leaders in the state and the nation. And our uh, coronavirus recovery team is advising us and helping guide Maryland's reopening and recovery process. As part of this strategy, we are intensifying both containment and mitigation efforts by first targeting and isolating outbreaks and clusters, second, redoubling our attention and resources on hotspot areas with the highest concentration of cases, and third, mitigation uh, to stop the spread uh, of the virus in other areas of the state. We are no longer just playing defense, we are going on offense against this virus, attacking it from every angle uh, with everything we've got. As a result of the acquisition of the half million tests from South Korea and some of our other progress with respect to increasing the lab capacity and the supply of materials, we are exponentially expanding our testing uh, capacity, enabling us to attack the most acute outbreaks, clusters, uh, and hotspots, including nursing homes, and to provide additional testing for our healthcare workers and first responders. It also helps us expand and increase uh, community based testing, like the two additional drive through test sites at vehicle emissions inspection stations, which we just opened. We now have seven of those open and operational across the state. 